but ah, uh, working again. Okay, guys, today it's a new day, and I have with me the brand new Dacia Jogger. It's the most affordable car that allow you to camp inside it. And in this video, as always, I will present you full review interior, exterior. How can you make it like that? What is the price of this bed, camping bed? And every single detail about Dacia Joker you will find out in this video. Now, let me sleep a little bit and we will talk a little bit later. Before we start the full review, I want to give you some technical data about this Dacia Jogger and then we will go outside, inside, I will show you how to mount this sleeping pack, they call it, and I will give you all the technical data and information about the car as always, and I hope this video will be useful for you. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is the most affordable commercial car that allow you to sleep inside because the price of this car, this is the extreme version, the top of the range version. Actually, it's extreme plus, but it has everything on it. It's almost top of the range version. And the price of the car, it's 20,050 euro plus the sleeping pack. Sleeping pack, if you buy it from the beginning with the new car, it's 1,490 euro. But if you want to add it after, for example, if you have already a jogger and you want to add this sleeping pack, you can buy it for 1,790 euro. From my point of view, make a lot of sense because it's super useful, at least these days with this trend where I saw at least in Asia and so many countries where the people actually sleeping inside the cars and i think this is super useful if you want to go in holiday or if you want to make short trips weekend trips like two days on mountain on sea and you want to sleep there you can do that without any problem and you can sleep here even better than in my tesla model y it's super super spacious as you can see here i have plenty of space from here and in the back it's still left uh, plenty of space on my feet and I'm 173 centimeters so from my point of view crazy crazy useful up here check this out you have also a 12 volt port in case you need some electricity you can use that it has some uh, lights here on the side you have the light up here and it's crazy crazy comfortable actually I sit on it it's completely straight so that's very important and also you have plenty of space up here enough with that let me give you some technical data about the version that we have today and then we will start with the review first of all the version that i have with me i told you this is the extreme version the top of the line i love the seats i will show you in a second the seats look lovely the exterior design look gorgeous the colors and the combination of trim look really nice and even the rims are super beautiful in terms of power this is kind of the middle range because you have the option in some country i'm not sure if in all countries the same but in some country you have the option to go with petrol and gas then you have the second version that i have with me today it's pure petrol 110 horsepower and then you have the top of the range version 140 the full hybrid what i recommend you if you would buy this jogger go with full hybrid because it makes a lot of sense at least in the city will be so useful and you can save a lot of money and also you can get an automatic transmission where here you have to go with manual transmission but yeah let me go and give you the information about the car that i have with me it comes with a one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line one 110 horsepower 200 newton meters the top speed 183 km per hour 0 to 110.5 seconds co2 emission 127 grams and the consumption 5.6 liter about the consumption guys i have two videos on my channel test drive with the same car i already did it yesterday if you want to see the real consumption the real life consumption check out those videos because you will find out there a lot of useful information about the driving feeling it's a front wheel drive and it's connected with a six speed manual transmission the model that i have with me if you go for the hybrid you have the automatic transmission when it comes to space in the trunk i can't show you the trunk because i have this sleeping pack i have to take it out but it is 708 liters and if you fall down the seats completely it can go up to 1819 liters fuel tank 50 liter is the capacity also the ground clearance 20 centimeters and the turning circle 11.7 meters it comes also with 
ventilated brake discs on the front and drum brakes on the rear. When it comes to suspension, we have independent Tag McPherson suspension, wheel coil spring and anti-roll bar on the front and on the rear we have Traverse stabilizer, coil spring and torsion bar. 16 inch wheels by the way. Those are the most important technical data. If I miss something, just comment, ask me down below. I will answer you with pleasure. Let's start the review outside, inside, and in the end, we will make a conclusion. Let's do it, guys. As I said before, this is the extreme version. That means top of the range version. And also it comes in this beautiful, beautiful green, dark color that looks phenomenal on the car. I don't know about you, but it's for the first time when I saw this color and I like it very, very much. I think the combination of copper from this extreme version that you have it here on the mirrors with the green color look really nice and also the black that comes around the wheels and in general also up there on the roof and also here around the windows and even those stickers on the side look pretty nice make the car look quite attractive and I think it's the most beautiful jogger that I saw until now it comes also with 16 inch rims that looks lovely I really like the rims I like the new Dacia logo in the middle I think the glossy black in combination with this green color on the car look just beautiful in general the exterior design of the car it's a practical design it has quite nice edges and shapes from my point of view it's quite a beautiful car with really nice lines and let's don't forget that it's also in incredible practical and also have a very good price i really like the design on the roof here it comes also with radio antenna with this shark tail in glossy piano black then you have these roof rails that you can actually adjust on the roof here you can take it take it out from here and you can put it parallel or you can put it vertical the way you want to use it and also if you look on the side here we have joker writing in the same copper color and they look super super nice on the side also huge mirrors tinted windows you can see here on the side tinted windows on the rear and they are quite big you will see when we go inside how good visibility it's also from the from the interior here is the tank so on the right side we have the tank 50 liter tank and if we go on the rear to the lights we have Sadly, from my point of view, I wish in the future at least to add some LED lights because here the turning signals are normal halogen light and also the tail lights, halogen light, the reverse light and the fog lamp as well. The only LED lights on the rear, it's here on the number plate. So we have two LED lights that uh, are super, super nice on the number plate. Also here is the reverse camera. I will show you when we go inside. And we have this three dimensional Dacia writing on the rear with this copper color. It's kind of a three dimensional shape and it looks just beautiful. If we go a little bit lower, you will notice that the car comes with six parking sensors and also this bumper here in a normal matte plastic and a little bit lower uh, that make it look much nicer. We have some gray uh, matte plastic and some light reflectors on the both sides that from my point of view look really, really cool. If you go on the brake here on the rear, something that I want to point out and I tell you in the beginning is the fact that the car comes with uh, drum brakes on the rear and in the front ventilated brake discs. What I find super useful on those Dacia Joker is the fact that they add this protection around the wheels. So you can see not only around the wheels, they are also extended like maybe two, three centimeters. That means if you scratch the car, if you hit, if someone hit you, you can change this plastic. You don't have to worry about repainting the car. And this is crazy useful. Also here it's an bolt light. So the turning signals is not on the mirror. It's here on the body of the car. You have some stickers with extreme version. I like very much the mirror actually, the color of the mirror and the way it looks. It looks beautiful. And also if you look at the glass here in the corner, you have the blind spot technology right here in the corner. You have a light that tell you if it's a car in a blind spot. Sadly, the car doesn't come with the camera up there that allow you to read different traffic signs and stuff like that, lane assist. The only safety features that it has, it has a radar in the front here on the grill. This radar allow the car 
to help you with the emergency brake. So it has a proper normal tempo mat cruise control and emergency brake and blind spot technology. So it has some safety features but doesn't go up to autopilot or a lane assist. When it comes to the front of the car, I think this new grille with a new Dacia logo look beautiful and the white combination with glossy black piano, it's super beautiful. Here it's a place for a front camera, but it's not a front camera. I think they had in plan to add one. Not sure if you can get the front camera with the car, but in general, I think it looks fine. When it comes to lightning, the turning signals, normal halogen light, but the good part is that you can see the daytime running light in this Y design. This is the new signature from Dacia. And the low bin are LED lights. Now the high bin, I wanna go inside and show you. The high bin is not LED. The high bin is just normal halogen light. It is a yellow light. That's something that I did a special video last night. So if you wanna see that video in the nighttime, you can see more details there. Now the fog lamps are down here. Also normal halogen light, quite yellow. I like very much the copper insertion here. I like the fact that down here again, this gray mat with gray plastic, the grill down there beautiful design overall i think it looks super super nice from my point of view it's a great looking car also it comes with six sensors in the front they use it for parking and six sensors on the rear not only for parking but also for blind spot technology those from here okay now when it comes to engine we talk a little bit in the beginning this is the engine and this is the way it looks in the front there on the right side you have the battery 12 volt battery the fuse box are there the liquid cooling for the brakes where is the wiper fluid i think it's up there is the wiper fluid. That's it, guys. One liter petrol engine, three cylinders in line, 110 horsepower. All right, now let's go in the trunk. Huge trunk. I mean, the entrance here, it's incredible. I told you, this is a crazy practical car. You have so much space to carry so many things here. It's a great car, not only for daily uses, for families, for companies, but also for the people that need to carry big items. Often, I think it's a great, great car to get it if you really need space. And you have a square space at the entrance, a lot of space here, a little bit of plastic at the entrance. This is the sleeping bag. You can see it a little bit better without me being inside. So you can make an idea uh, how flat and how spacious it is. I think you can sleep here two person without any problem, no matter how big you are, you can sleep sleep right there also I want to show you something cool if you go and if you want to make a picnic you have the possibility to open this up like that and you have a table here where you can eat or you can put different items but you are not able to sit here no more than 15 kilograms and then if you're wondering where you put your baggages, your luggages, you can put it right here. Look how much space you have inside there. I mean, you can put your luggages down there. Also this one, this is a tent. You have to pay extra for it. If you want the tent, you can also install a tent outside here. I will put some images on the screen so you can see how the tent look like. So you can install it outside if you go in the nature. And I think it's around 350 euro if I remember well, but super spacious place here guys so from my point of view totally deserve it as i show you before there on the left side you have also a 12 volt port and super super spacious here let me put it back with you and let me show you how fast you can put it back all you have to do is just go from the side you take first of all those little uh, parts let me show you and you will see that i don't need more than maybe maximum five minutes to put the bed back in the place. So I will leave it in the front for a second. This one, he, all you have to do is just put it back just like, just like that. Let me show you. It's crazy, crazy simple. All I have to do, it's now for the moment, I need to have this on the side. So this one, you have to take it out for a second. So let me put it up here for a while. And then here, you take this like that. I can do it myself. I mean, you don't need two persons for, for this uh, job. So only one person will be just fine. And you can take this out like that. 
and then put it on the side for a second. So let me show you. I'll put it down for a while. Yes. And then here, check this out. Check this out how simple it is. Look at this. And then you put it like that. Just like that. And then you have here a small rubber that you have to pull it down. It's kind of cold. My hands are freezing, man. And then this one, you put it down here. And then this one, you take it from here and you put it down here. I don't want to scratch something or break something. And then this is it. Check this out. And now all you have to do, you ch take those mats and put them back in the back right here. How, how much time I need? Maybe five minutes maximum. And then everything it is back in place, right? So. What do you think about that? Super, super cool. And one more thing, I have down here this protection for the trunk. I'm not a big fan of those trunk protection. I never use it in my car. So yeah, keep in mind, you still have this one and you can install it there and you can pull it like that and then you close it completely if you want to. So this is super useful. So you put it like there in a place. I'm not going to put it now because I have to film after, but you put it there, you put it here, and then you're good to go. Now, let me close this trunk and let me go inside and talk about the interior of the car. Go inside, check this out. Huge, huge entrance in the back here. Also, I want to point out something. The seats on the rear, in comparison with the seats in the front, are a little bit higher, I think around five centimeters. So here in the back, you feel like you are in an SUV. You have such a big window, so great visibility. But down there in the front, you feel like in a Sandero, Dacia Sandero, and here you feel like you are in an SUV. So that's really cool. The entrance in the car, it's big, really, really big. And also you have a big window up here, even though all the door, the design is beautiful, but all the door is made in plastic. That's something to keep in mind. But the design, it's really, really nice. And you have also plenty of storage space here. You have a speaker, you have the button for the window, so you can fold down the window all the way, almost all the way down. This is also super useful. And then you have also the handles right here. Huge entrance, as I showed you before. I like the fact that you have free individual seats in the back that allow you to have free person without any problem. And like, like electric, like an electric car, this is not an electric car, but check this out. You have a flat floor, a co almost a flat floor down there to allow you to have free person without any problem. So the space down here on the legs, it's super good. You have Isofix for child seats, so you can install two child seats here in the back. And those are the lovely seats that I'm in love with. I like them very much in the middle. It feels like this material, it's kind of a a little bit like Alcantara and then you have textile material on the side. They look really nice. On this extreme version, I like the seats a lot. Then you have this, uh, I should say, table that you can also extend it from here if I'm not wrong. So you can use it uh, as well. Let me go inside. I don't want to make everything dirty there, but outside it's crazy snowing. Down here, we have a 12 volt port, so no USB will be super useful in the future, some USB port down there. But overall, this is the space. I'm 173 centimeters. The great part is that I told you, look how low are the seats there and look how high are here. I don't know if you can make this. And here is no space. It's incredible, comfortable. I feel like I'm in a, in a bus, so I feel really good here. I'm 173 centimeters and look how much space I have, like six, fingers over my head. This is the space on my legs, so more than enough space. Huge, huge space. I can play with my legs under the front seats. Actually, I stay in the air with the seats, so super space. Great visibility outside, really good visibility, nothing to complain. I have an armrest, a hook here. The quality on the roof from 1 to 10, I will give it a 7. Uh, and here you have also the lights that you saw it before. When I go in the middle, I go without any problem in the middle. And you can see even here, huge space on my, on my legs. I can stay also with my legs somehow together. And also in the middle on the head, I have like five fingers, a little bit less space. But the, the, the great part is that I have my own 
seats here, individual seat in the middle, so that I'll allow you to have free person. Look, I stretch my hand, stretch my hand. Practicality wise, it's really, really good. We will go in the front and we will talk about everything there. I will show you also how to connect and actually it's connected right now to my phone so you don't need the cable to connect wireless your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and then in the front we will talk about everything so yeah otherwise from here if you, if you look at the dashboard you will see how nice it looks and how simple it is and it's also very practical because they still use a lot of physical buttons wheels and all that stuff so anyway let's go in the front the design is kind of the same but here we have soft material in this area the same material that they use also on the seats and also here on the dashboard the buttons for electric adjustable mirrors the buttons for the windows lock the windows handle a little bit of copper insertion with glossy black uh, plastic then some storage space here we have the speaker uh, huge entrance also in the front actually it's big and look at those seats i'm a big fan of those seats i really love them i have the car for two days now and i like very much the seats i have to say the design and also the quality is great you have the dacia logo in the middle you have the stitches here lovely and also side support very good seats but they are manual adjustable you have to adjust it manually then you have the pedals, simple pedals there, the position for the lights, up here you have the vents, pretty good, and here you have uh, good material, soft material, and otherwise it's just uh, plastic almost everywhere. Let me go inside the car because outside it's, uh, it's snowing and it's crazy cold. You can adjust the steering wheel on this version, up, down, forward, backward, without any problem, so you can do that. And the steering wheel is quite nice, leather steering wheel. You have here the buttons for cruise control. From here you can use the speed limiter and from here you can use the cruise control. You can set it from here. On the right side you can see different images on the screen so you can go through them. Also consumption and all kind of information. Even though it's an analogical screen, it's quite useful and it's fine. Probably in the future they will come on the new version probably with a digital one now in the middle you have an armrest this is super useful the armrest then you have some storage space down there two cup holders electronic handbrake here is the gear shifter six speed manual transmission if you want to go in reverse you have to pull it like that forward and then now you are in reverse you can see the car come with a reverse camera active line assist parking sensors in the front parking sensors on the rear super useful some storage space in the front here then you have the traction control button you have usb 2 12 volt port climatic system i really like the climatic system you can use it super super easy i mean you can rotate those wheels you can just rotate the temperature and also here the position so it's crazy crazy useful from my point of view and also you have the ac everything work just perfect a little bit higher you have some buttons heated seats to position for you and the passenger you have echo mode or normal mode for about that we talk i talk more in the test drive video so check out that video it's already on the channel this is the start stop engine button we have the vents quite nice uh, they look nice and they feel relatively good there you have the usb 2 for the connectivity but you don't need that because if you see right now it's already connected to apple carplay and it's very responsive i really like how responsive it is i mean it's kind of beat other premium cars that doesn't allow you to connect it wireless that easy but here you can do that with your phone in in the pocket and actually i connected yesterday i didn't do anything today it's just start itself if you want to go back to dacia multimedia you can do it easy as that and if you want to go to android you just go here super good connectivity so great job dacia here great material quality down here you have the glow box that's okay it's relatively big i should say you can put there a lot of stuff without any problem super useful stuff and here is the start stop engine button and here behind you can control the uh, multimedia and actually the media the source like radio and volume 
and then here is the multimedia that it's placed very nice i mean the visibility the way they put it a little bit higher it's quite quite good the way they tilt it a little bit to the driver it's also very good and it's a simple one i mean you have here the settings you can go directly to the settings blind spot technology active brake you have the access to all the the doors walk away closing approach unlocking and all that uh, cool features that you can use because the car come with keyless entrance i will show you also the key by the way i forget to show you the key this is the key quite nice key simple one but it's it's very light to hold it in your pocket reverse camera obstacle detection you have here the main menu radio media uh, phone vehicle here like you actually see uh, the settings and here on the right side it gives you some tips about how to drive echo and trip report like consumption and eco coaching it gives you some tips on how to drive economical so this is nice and then you have the navigation from the car that's quite nice and it's loading quite fast if you add a destination for example if you add this destination look look how fast it's loading it's super super fast and i like that and even though you have the settings extra settings here for the volume for the display for the devices and some settings with language factory reset and all that stuff are down here and then you have the apple carplay that looks like that and it's very useful because you can use also the voice command like how many degrees are outside today the high today will be three degrees celsius and the low will be zero degrees celsius yes and now they are minus 10 <laughs> anyway guys uh, a little bit higher you have this mirror you can see also the visibility in the back it's fine up here you have sos button you have also this yellow light and then you have a microphone and the mirror here vanity mirror so super useful outside today it's crazy cold and i'm struggling doing this review for you guys so i hope you appreciate that i will really appreciate the like a share a subscribe and anyway thanks a lot for watching my videos i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from my point of view to give a rating to this dacia jogger from 1 to 10 i will give it a 9.9 .9. it's not a perfect car but it's almost perfect for this price and with all the stuff and the options that you can add to the car and all the practicality all this multimedia system and what this car offer really deserve to take it into consideration so if you are on the search for a family car and you're not sure yet which car to buy just go and test it go and see it maybe you'll like it i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from here if you want to see the test drive with this car and what will be the consumption check it out from my point of view i will go for the hybrid version but yeah better for you to test all and see which one uh, fit you better Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, stay safe, and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.